Good day. My name is Michelle Brandt, and I want to talk to you today about the designation Iowa Certified Housing Provider, or Iowa CHP. Iowa CHP is a professional certification that was designed specifically for residential property managers. This is a formal training program that was created to enhance management skills and educate students on current industry standards. The curriculum takes a holistic approach to managing residential property. I am a certified property manager with 25 years of both residential and commercial property management experience. My smallest portfolio was a single family dwelling and my largest was over 2,500 rental units in the Des Moines area. I've managed for owners whose motivation was pride in property. I have managed to the other end of the spectrum for owners who wanted nothing but to maximize their cash flow. I've also managed everything in between. The five courses I created and teach are a part of a 36 hour curriculum required to obtain the Iowa CHP. How to attract and retain quality residents is about preparation. We will cover how to attract, engage, and retain good residents. The key concepts covered are property assessment and correction, operations including staff readiness and customer service training. We will also teach how to evaluate your competition, how to conduct a SWOT analysis. Because with a SWOT analysis, you wanna make sure that your property is at its highest and best use. We then wrap up we wrap up the day talking about marketing and building a sense of community. This can be done for the smallest of properties. Now the next course, Transforming Prospects into Residents, will build your sales skills. This sales training is founded on needs determination, building desire, and feature benefit sales techniques. This course features lots of opportunities to practice what we dread, the close. It's truly one of my favorite courses to teach because of all the aha moments. This le then leads us into the residential application process. This is one of the most critical pieces you must have in place to successfully manage your property. Now that you have someone wanting to apply for your property, we tend to get in a hurry or we do what we've always done. We get comfortable. We shy away from having a formal process, a process that can protect us and our assets. This, is, this course demonstrates why we need effective application screening. It identifies key components of what your tenant selection criteria looks like. It also provides the tools needed to evaluate applicants. Active property and community management. This is truly about being proactive and plugged in. As the name implies, we answer the important question of are you being managed or are you managing? We explore the unique nature of a property manager in that there are so many hats to wear. You must be effective and so in this course we learn techniques and guidelines that if, our, if you practice them, they're intended to reduce vacancy, reduce property damage and loss, improve your organization, and strengthen your position as a manager. Then going a step farther with a fifth course. Lease performance issues, resolving ongoing tenant problems, gets into the nitty gritty of property management. Where active property and community management deals with the standard operating procedures and being proactive, this course gets deeper into communication techniques, and how to document tenant performance. We also include instruction on creating litigation-proof files, as well as a workshop to practice real-life situations. It's a lot of fun. As you can see, these courses have been created to navigate the life cycle of a tenant. In my experience, these are key elements to successfully and professionally managing residential properties. I want to wrap up by saying these are only five of several courses offered through the Iowa Landlord Association and the Iowa Real Estate Investor Association. 
A complete course listing and more information about the Iowa CHP can be found at www.iareia.org. One last point, these courses as well as the instructors have the direct approval of the Iowa Real Estates Commission and therefore they qualify for continuing education units or CEUs. So even if the Iowa CHP isn't your final destination, these courses have a lot of value. Thanks for your time today.